Come with me to draw something. <laughs> Says the girl in sweatpants. Hey, my name is Karen Campbell from Awesome Art School. This channel is all about bringing you fun, free tutorials on everything drawing and mixed media. And I'm so happy you're with me today. I'm going to do a drawing exercise that is going to show you how to draw a sultry face. Stay tuned to the end of the video where you'll be linked to a playlist that has lots of other tutorials on how to draw other expressions. So if you're tired of the dead face, you've come to the right place. We are gonna start off this face like we do every other forward facing face and that's with an oval a bunch of times if that's what you need to do to get the job done. Um, and then of course we always have to have our grid lines in there. There's really nothing more important than those grid lines to so get them in. You got one down the center, one across the middle, and then two more at equal intervals. And you have your guidelines for the eyes, nose, and mouth, just like every other time we're drawing a face. And if this is too fast, just pause it and rewind as many times as you need to. We're gonna shore up the face of those eyes. And if you notice, I'm making them a little bit slanted towards the end on either side, just to give them a little bit of extra character and giving them a pretty large um, eyelid coming from out of the inside corner and tracing in the outlines of the eyebrows, mouth, and nose. Now the iris, just like all irises, get cut off, but I'm gonna leave, um, they cut off at the top by the eyelid, but I'm gonna leave a space between the bottom of the iris and the bottom lid. You see how there's that white space? And that is very important for achieving this sultry look. Now I'm grabbing my Sharpie and just simply tracing over the lines that I'm most sure about and ignoring all the rest. And in a moment, I am going to erase all the extraneous graphite lines that I don't need anymore in order to make her shape. So I'm literally sketching there with the Sharpie. Gotta chuck some eyelashes on <laughs> before we get any further. Um, it always bothers me when they have no eyelashes. And just doing um, a little bit of extra, a few thin lines with my fine tip Sharpie there. And erasing all those little extra tidbits. If the hairline is too large or the forehead is too big, you can just go in a little bit with some additional loose lines and that's what I did and then we are diving into the shading you guys I'm taking a mid-tone Copic marker I think this is a C5 and just sketching in some highlighted areas in a mid-tone to get started you can always start lighter if this is too scary but I'm not scared I love me some dramatic shading and I'm diving right in and again just pause the video if I'm doing too fast and just copy what I'm doing. And if you get a little overwhelmed, don't worry because it's time for a little cat break. Just a few seconds of snuggles just makes life okay. And then we're back. So we, ha we have our, okay, so this is where the sultry comes in. We have a really dark line and I'm thickening up that top lash line and really cutting across the center of her iris. The iris, of course, is the colored part of the eye. And if all you can see is a little pupil peeking through and the rest is that lower, the upper heavy lid, that is where the sultry look comes from. So it's really important if you wanna make a sultry face to make sure just a little bit of that eye is showing. The rest is covered up by that top lid and you have a good white space between the lower part of the iris and the lower lid. This is the most important and the most fun part, which are the highlights at the end. So right when you have your dramatic shading, as dramatic as you wanna go, don't forget those highlights. And if you go too dark somewhere, you can always grab a paint pen. I like to use Posca and Sharpie paint pens, and you can just go ahead and color them back in sharp, <laughs> sharp white, and it works just the same. This is a popular hair technique that I've been using lately. I'm kind of just addicted to it, where I do dark at the top and bottom with like a mid-tone throughout, and then some whites, highlights peeking through. It's quick, it's fast, it's fun, and it's effective. And for the one last punch of shading, I'm going in with a dark, I believe this is a C7, and I'm just adding a little bit of extra drama with one last layer of dark. And this girl, is done. 
And just a few extra highlights if you want to, and you are ready to rock and roll. You guys, um, I have so many more expression videos that I've taped and that I'm continuing to put out, so check out the playlist. And if you wanna keep continuing sharpening your face drawing skills, and let's get rid of the boring dead eye girls, you guys. Let's get some serious expressions rocking in these drawing and mixed media projects and you'll be having way more fun. I know it might seem scary at first, but I promise you, if you just follow me, I will take care of you, answer your questions, hop in my Facebook group if you haven't already. I would love to see your renditions of these girls and do not be afraid, expressions are so fun. I will see you in the next video.